and welcome to their channel and for today's video uh, we are going uh, back to back with the follow-up to the previous uh, video um, and we're going with uh, the theme continuing the theme of the uh, classified series the GI Joe classified series <clears throat> and this is my custom of the uh, Scarlet <clears throat> I have already shown uh, a few works in progress on this, um, and um, but I remember that I never really gave her a proper video of her own, um, because I showed her with the work in progress of the Escalator from the Masterverse. Um, <clears throat> So uh, I, th I think I spoke in that video for, of a lot of the details uh, that went on with this. But I'll again, I'll just go with, over them uh, again. So this video will probably be a little shorter because we've already seen a lot of the stuff and I've already gone ahead and uh, explained some of the things about her. Uh, but again, just to give her a solo uh, video. Um, let's bring her in a little closer. So uh, one of the things that I did uh, for her, obviously, is try to give her uh, a look similar to what she had in the uh, Sambo cartoon, which is her tanned colored suit with, um, well, depending on, um, well, pretty much her suit was tan color with, um, with gray. Uh, but I've seen like different variations where it looked uh, a little bluish then gray and so um, I thought this looked a lot better than just giving her plain gray uh, in uh, the tan color uh, I thought in, in the color it's a little more it's grayish a bluish gray more or less right so the uh, the colors complement each other uh, better. So um, it's um, so again I, I went uh, and simplified her look uh, from uh, I, I was trying to look for the box because again I don't have another um, copy of this figure uh, you know unlike uh, the snake eyes that I had too. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to look for the box and just to compare her pretty how she originally came versus how she looks now and um uh, it's probably buried under a bunch of other boxes um but uh yeah um, uh, her look is way more simplified um instead of a lot of the gold detail in different colors that she had going on uh, on her suit again just the basic um uh, sambo style look to her um to her outfit um i um repainted the the hair to a, a darker uh red uh, it's um it's definitely more in line with her look than it was before which was a, like a almost bright orange The only pretty much deviation that I could say that I did from her Sambo look is just, you know, add some uh, other uh, details uh, to her outfit. So instead of like all orange, like on the gloves, um, I added some uh, green um, detail to the, um, to the straps, right? along with uh, on the back of her boots right those green straps um you can see how i painted the the knee pads there that red i don't know what you call this that she had on her on the on, you know on her uniform um the red sash thing that she had um and then this elbow pad i try to give it give it that uh military green color uh picked out her whatever these are like ninja stars i don't know 
I also uh, painted the, the straps there on her chest, um, chest uh, vest, <laughs> chest vest, her vest. So again, uh, pretty much uh, areas of articulation, everything works. Uh, for the most part, uh, the uh, flaking is under control, although there are some spots where you can see like where it hits and right there on her shoulder, you can see some areas of rubbing, right? So that would need a touch up. But for the most part, you know, you can see how some of the paint rubs, but it's hidden behind. Uh, that's on the butterfly, right? Um, but as far as you know, from what you're seeing um, behind the legs, um, it's mostly protected. So the paint stuck more, um, stuck better uh, on this version uh, of this custom. I'm sorry. Um, And then um, I did mention, so I'll mention it again uh, on the previous video where I had issues with the, um, where I had uh, some flaking of the paint, there you can see it. After applying the, um, the clear on her, um, I don't know what kind of re reaction it was, if, if it was, the paint reacting with the finish or if it was because of the climate at the time that I did this because it was pretty cold when I was working on this um, custom so I, again I don't know what caused the the, um, the flaking on the paint uh, her face I only just tried to repaint her lips red uh, aside from the hair Tried to remove the feckles, but they were a little harder to remove without uh, removing the paint uh, on her eyes. So I just kept it, kept the freckles there. Um, her um, her bow uh, gun, I did repaint in. Oh, sorry, uh, with some uh, gun metal. Um, And um, her the gun that she has right now, this is the one that came with uh, Duke. But uh, I decided to give her the gun. Uh, I believe Duke has like uh, uh, his uh, like machine gun. Uh, so I gave her his gun, which. Uh, I believe was like in a gold color so I just kept it all um, black and gunmetal so yeah you know it's um, again pretty simple custom um, if you're trying to get the uh, the look from the um, from the cartoon, then um, you know this is pretty much like a way to go, um, without having to do a lot of uh, detail work on her. You can just you know keep it real simple, and it'll look uh, f uh, you know perfectly fine in my opinion. Uh, again, um, like I mentioned in the um, in the uh, Snake Eyes video. Um, I'm sure that uh, Hasbro will, will release a version of her in in this color scheme, although maybe in a different uh, costume, a more tr in her more traditional looking costume uh, for that retro line uh, that they're releasing. So um, again, maybe. But in the meantime, um, if you want to do her uh, repaint into a classic look, this is one of the options. Uh, you can go with um, and
and uh, yeah, it's um, again pretty uh, simple repaint. Um, so uh, as far as um, what other uh, classified series figures um, I'm looking to customize, the um, well Duke is next. So Duke is probably gonna get uh, his more basic traditional look, uh, right? Uh, like that yellow shirt and um, the green pants, right? And let's see what else I can do. Um, so I've got uh, one of the crew, uh, I've got the Baroness, I've got Firefly, I've got um, Roadblock, the Heavy Artillery, uh, one of the Vipers, and um, what's this guy's? Um, Dr. Mind, no, not Mindbender. Uh, what's this guy's name? Ah, I'm blanking out. This guy. Um, so, uh, as far as uh, customs, so those are, you know, other figures that I've got. Um, although, for the, uh, did I mention the Baroness? So, I'm planning on getting the, um, the Retro Baroness. Um, but I'm thinking of doing her with um so this is i uh, i've got the one with uh obviously i've got the one with the the cobra coil right so i'm gonna see which one i repaint in blue in a blue metallic suit either this one or the um the retro one i think um i think the uh, blue metallic would be a nice second alternative uh costume for her so uh, there's that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it with uh, this video. I guess uh, we can uh, put her, where did I, uh, just uh, for a comparison, we can put, put her next to her love interest. Oh, depending, right? On the show, it, it was Duke. In the comics, it was Snake Eyes. So, um, depending on how you uh, you want to display your figures, you know, this is the two figures that I have so far in their um, Sumbo look. So I guess Duke would be in the middle, <laughs> splitting them up. Um, uh, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll check you guys out in the next one.